If I would have to summarize the season five PTR with one word, that word would be broken. The class balance is broken. The game is broken. It's laggy. You're right clicking stuff and it just isn't registering with the game. I was gambling obols and I had to click sometimes 10 times in order to purchase and gamble an item. The game's broken mechanically um, and it just doesn't feel good. I lasted four hours with the season five PTR. Now, I have to say, as far as the compasses, the drop rate definitely increased from what I heard from day one. Every chest I opened up in the Helltide, every Whisper chest I opened, get, I got a compass on every single chest that I opened up. So getting compasses was not an issue. And then, of course, in order to get a scroll, and you need scrolls in order to upgrade the compasses, uh, you just trash a compass, you salvage a compass, sorry, and you get a scroll, and that allows you to upgrade the tier on the compass. So not a problem. Now, personally, I would up the ante with the compass drop rate. Therefore, people can farm the higher tiers, tier six, tier seven, tier eight. So for example, if you wanted a compass to be a tier six, it starts at level three. So you need to upgrade it three times in order to get to tier six, for example. So that means you need four compasses, one as the base, and then three to salvage to upgrade it to tier six. So I personally think when people get to the end game, they're going to want to farm the tier sevens, tier eights, tier sixes. So I personally would up the ante a little bit. Don't make it guaranteed two compasses per chest, but I suggested, uh, I suggest, sorry, that they make it a possibility that each chest can drop up to two compasses. Not all the time, but therefore you're getting a little bit more, maybe 20%, 30% more compasses that you can salvage to upgrade uh, and get scrolls to upgrade the compasses. Uh, so the drop rate on the compasses was good. The sorceress felt good. The damage was good. Uh, I, ha I, I, I gotta say, I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I saw that the sorceress was actually viable with that build. Now I never got to completing that build and really testing tier five, six, seven, and eight of the infernal hordes. Actually, we completed tier three like everyone else with no problem. We did it twice. And then I upgraded a tier five, not having all my manual, my temper manuals, not master working anything, really not optimizing my build. And I got slapped around and kicked out of a tier five infernal horde. Um, so that was a little disappointing. I wish I would have enjoyed the testing, the PTR more. So I was able to really max out my character because I would have loved to push the higher tiers in the Infernal Hordes, but I can't do it. It's too broken and I'm not playing, like I said, I'm not getting on the hamster wheel to go and play Helltides over and over and over to get the compasses in order to get the higher tier infernal hordes that's number one number two i gotta say although fun initially the and i'm talking about the infernal hordes mechanic really fun you're fighting waves so for example my tier three runs you got to beat the five waves and then you you know you fight the uh the bosses at the end three of them out of the potential five and it's fun it's waves and waves and waves, but been there, done that. It reminds me too much of a lot of other assets that already exist in the game. And I've said this in a prior video, Infernal Hordes to me is a mishmash of assets that are already in the game. And that is Helltides, The Pit, Nightmare Dungeons, kind of all mishmashed little bit of lipstick on it and called something else. Now, obviously the bosses at the end are something unique and different, uh, but to me, it's just not enough to appeal to me. Now, we do not know 
what else is coming in season five. It, we do not know the name of season five. I believe the theme has been confirmed, returning to hell, um, but we do not know. So I would imagine sometime after the new class reveal on July 18th and the beginning of uh, season five, August 6th, we are gonna get another live stream from the Diablo 4 dev team and they're gonna reveal to us what else is to come in season five, if anything, and also the name of season five, because we, like I said, we do not know the name of season five yet. Um, so that, my video today, I can only go by what is in the PTR. Now, if things are gonna take a 360 degree turn on the live, the season five live stream, and they add more and drop more content, then take what I say and throw it out the door. Because if they do add more content, then this, my opinion, is mute because they're adding more content. But if season five, the core of it, is what is in the PTR, I don't know what's going to happen for season five. And to be honest with you, does it really matter? <laughs> does it really matter? Because they do have a month between the end of this PTR testing and season five starting and all the problems that I listed are fixable. They can fix it. They can fix the lag issues. They can fix the class balance. Although someone challenged me on that and said, class balance can easily be fixed. Well, then why are we still talking about it four seasons into Diablo 4? Why are we, if it's so easy, why are we still talking about it? Fix it already. I don't understand the yin and yang approach and the micromanaging that's going on with the balance of classes in this game. It's just too much yin and yang and one by one, just pissing off too many players, but it is fixable, absolutely. In theory, it should be easy to solve, but they haven't in four seasons. So, but everything I mentioned, like I said earlier, is fixable, the lag, the the drop rate class balance etc etc all fixable i believe they would have enough time but having said that we still have one core problem with season five if there is no major content additions as the recording of this video if this is going to be season five there's still the one big problem in my opinion this just feels the same. The Infernal Hordes content feels the same. The Pit, Nightmare Dungeons, Hell Tides, Mishmash, like I said, it just feels. I'm getting the comments in my streams, I'm getting the comments in my videos. And like, if they don't fix balance, if they don't fix the balancing of classes, I, I just don't see season five being that popular there's a lot of people that are feeling the same way i'm feeling now there's a lot of people that are enjoying it great all the best to you have lots of fun but this can be fixed but even if they do fix all the issues that i said we're back to square one i don't think there's enough meat on the bone now does that really matter season five is a shortened season do does blizzard the dev team do they actually care I don't know, maybe they're doing it on purpose. They they don't need season five to be a banger. They're putting all their resources on Vessel of Hatred in season six. So that might not be a bad strategy. They're putting all their marbles into one corner and focusing on the Vessel of Hatred and getting that, making sure that's a banger. This way they can get their sales for their financial results for the quarter of October, November, and December. So who can blame them? Anyway, that's my experience with the PTR. I don't know what's gonna happen with season five. I don't know what's gonna happen with the live stream if we're gonna get more content, who knows? Maybe the strategy all along is that season five was just going to be an in-between <laughs> the Vessel of Hatred and the most popular season, season four. Maybe they're just going to ride that wave. Now, I do want to say, I don't know if, if this is coincidence 
or if this is just exposes the fact that the teams working on odd seasons and the team working on even seasons, there is a huge disconnect. Now, this may just be coincidence, but every odd season has been a disaster in this game. And we know since day one that we've been told they have a team dedicated to odd seasons and they have a team dedicated to even seasons and they have a team dedicated to the future and other teams, of course. But we know these teams exist. So whoever is on the odd team, whew, I don't know, maybe go into the even team room and see how they handle things because there's huge disparities between what these two teams are pumping out like the odd season team is pumping out disasters season one three and five utter shit shows i don't know how else to put it and season two and season four season two was good season four was awesome so i don't know maybe put the two teams together and get the the even team to lead both teams working on one as a as a as a unit uh because this is crazy uh, and again maybe it's coincidence but i don't know we have they both have a couple of seasons under their belt and the, you know the writing's on the wall Odd seasons are disasters. Even seasons seem to be delivering with the player base. So take that for what it's worth. But I'm out. I'm done. I won't be testing anymore. Uh, it's season five PTR. Like I said, all the problems that I've addressed are fixable. So I'm not concerned about that. But to me, at the end of the day, even assuming that all gets fixed, we're still left with one mechanic, the new content, the Infernal Horde content that personally doesn't grab me enough and give me enough replayability to the point where I'm having fun all the time because it's just going to be another me hitting the boredom wall with that content just because you got to grind hell tides you got to grind yeah okay you can you can do whispers but that's in the hell tides most likely that's that's your best bet when you're leveling up a character you have to go hell tides it's the fastest route for XP until you get higher up. And then probably the better method is to start grinding nightmare dungeons because you can strategically select the ones that are 10 plus levels above you, therefore getting more XP. So, but Hell Tides is in the mix and touches every step of our progression as we're leveling to 100 and past that. So the replayability and repeatability becomes monotonous because one of the core mechanics touches every level of that process. And to me, that's great if it was fun, but we all know how everyone feels about doing the same thing over and over and over. And sometimes that, that effort, the reward doesn't match it. That's another problem that's broken. But anyway, I'm done. Uh, let me know what you think. How's your season five Terra going? And yeah, I would love to hear your comments and feedback. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. For those of you that watch my content and yet still don't subscribe, if you could subscribe, really appreciate it. There's a lot of you that do, and I would appreciate your support. Help our channel grow, get out to more people. I would appreciate it. And as always, you can come by and watch my live streams every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Would love to have you. Have a chat. Come by and say hello. And as always, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.